Hello, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another Get to Know video just for you. And today, you know, I'm gonna talk about something that crosses all socioeconomic levels. It's your brain. Are you concerned about your brain? I am sure that you are because your brain literally sends billions of messages every day. What's going on in most people's brain today? It's inflamed. I recently read an article that Alzheimer's could be considered diabetes of the brain. That's an interesting thought because your brain is inflamed. What causes dementia? What impairs brain function? Your brain needs a continuous flow of nutrients and blood. Inflammation impairs blood flow to the brain. So I'm gonna give you some important little steps that you can do to help promote optimal brain function. Number one, I'd encourage you to have your essential fatty acid blood spot done. What is that? There's a prick of blood that you could take from your finger. We send it to a lab in Georgia. We're looking for a long chain fat in your brain called DHA to be elevated or to be within a normal limit. Most of the time that we see in our practice, people with low DHA levels not only have emotional challenges and depression, they start to have a memory challenge also. So here's what I'm gonna encourage you today to do. I'd like you to take at least one tablespoon of flax oil per 100 pounds every day, preferably an organic flax oil with high lignans. I'd also encourage you, if you don't take the flax oil, to take a marine oil. We use the anchovy sardine-based oil, and it's basically dependent on what your lab results for the essential fatty acid blood spot test. About two teaspoons of that oil every day is very beneficial. But I'm gonna share a new thought with you right now, and maybe you've heard about this, but coconut oil is really important for brain function. They have research that has shown that coconut oil can literally stop the inflammation that's going on in the brain. And you could use two tablespoons of coconut oil on a regular basis, use it instead of butter. That will definitely help optimal brain function. Are you concerned about Alzheimer's? And you probably have heard in the past about aluminum. Well, let me share a little secret with you. What we have found from our experience Individuals who have high aluminum on the mineral tissue analysis or hair analysis tend to have adrenal gland fatigue. I'll say that again. People who tend to have high aluminum on their mineral tissue analysis or their hair analysis tend to have adrenal fatigue. So how do you support the adrenal glands? First, you wanna stay away from sugar. You wanna make sure that you are getting a great source of vitamin C. Some red, yellow, or orange bell peppers are really a, a great option. Make sure you're eating some avocado. Avocado has monounsaturated fat in it because that's important for optimal brain health also. You really wanna watch the amount of sugar that you're consuming because see, you may not be aware, but insulin causes inflammation and you don't want your brain inflamed. Remember we talked about it at the beginning of this segment? Alzheimer's is almost like having diabetes of the brain. So I want you to drink water from a pure source. Minimize your sugar. Coconut oil, two tablespoons per day, will help give you optimal brain function. And I'll leave you with this one last thought. Raw nerves inflamed nerves in your body are commonly caused by lack of B vitamins. B as in Bravo. Do you cry easy? Do you have a fear of impending doom? Sore muscles after exercise? Sign of a lack of B vitamins, which means you could have raw inflamed nerves, which means you could have brain dysfunction. Follow some of these suggestions. This is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another Get to Know video just for you.